follow you. Today, I am very excited to share my favorite fairy tale growing up with you guys. It's one of the classic Norwegian folk tales. It is called Ashlad, who competed with the troll. It was gathered by Osbjørnsen and Moon, and this is my very favorite troll fairy tale. I hope you will enjoy it too. Ashlad, who competed with the troll. Once in a time, there was a farmer who had three sons. His means were small, and he was old and frail, and his sons would take to nothing. A splendid large wood belonged to the farm, and one day the father told his sons to go fell some trees in order to pay off some debts. At long last, he got them to set off. The eldest was to go first. But when he got well into the wood and began hacking at a mossy old fir, a great monstrous troll came towards him. If you chop down trees in this wood of mine, said the troll, I will kill you. When the lad heard that, he threw down his axe and ran off home as fast as he could lay legs to the ground. He arrived quite out of breath and told them what had happened, but his father said that he had the heart of a rabbit. No troll would have ever scared him from chopping wood when he was young. The next day, the second son set off, but it went just the same. He had scarce hacked three strokes at the fur before the troll came to him too and said, If you chop down trees in this wood of mine, I will kill you. The lad dared not so much as look at him, but threw down the axe, took to his heels, and came scampering home just like his brother. So when he got home, his father was angry again, and said no troll had ever scared him when he was young. The third day, Ashland wanted to set off. You, indeed, said the two elder brothers. You will do it bravely, no doubt. You have scarce ever set your foot out the door. Ashland said nothing in reply, but only begged his mother to give him plenty of provisions to take along. She had no cheese, so she set the pot onto the fire to make them a little. He put it in his sack and set off. When he had chopped for a short while, the troll came to him too and said, if you chop down trees in this forest of mine, I will kill you. But the lad was not slow. He pulled his cheese out of the bag and squeezed it so hard that the way burst out. Hold your tongue, he cried to the troll, or I'll squeeze you as I squeeze the water out of this white rock. Nay, spare me, dear friend, said the troll. If you spare me, I'll help you chop down some trees. Well, in those terms, the lad was willing to spare him, and the troll chopped so bravely that they fell dozens of trees that day. But when the evening drew nearer, the troll said, Now you'd better come home with me, for my house is nearer than yours. The lad was willing enough. When they reached the troll's house, the troll was to make up the fire, while the lad was to fetch the water for their porridge pot. But the two iron buckets were so big and heavy, he couldn't even budge them. Pooh, said the lad. It isn't worth while to carry mere timbles like these. I'll just go and fetch the whole well. Nay, nay, dear friend, said the troll. I can't afford to lose my well. Just you make up the fire and I'll go fetch the water. So when he came back with the water, they sat to and boiled up a great pot of porridge. It's all the same to me, said the lad. But if you're same-minded, we'll eat a match. With all my heart, said the troll, for he thought he could surely hold his own in eating. So they sat down, but the lad took his sack unawares to the troll and hung it before him, and so he spooned more into the sack than he ate himself, 
and when the sack was full, he took up his knife and made a slit in it. The troll looked on all the while, but said never a word. But when they had eaten a good bit longer, the troll laid down his spoon, saying, Nay, I can't eat another bite. But you have to eat, said Ashlad. I'm only half done. Why don't you do as I did, and slice a hole in your stomach? Then you'll be able to eat as much as you please. But won't that hurt cruelly? asked the troll. Oh, said the youth, nothing to speak of. So the troll did as the lad said, and then you must know that proved the death of him. Then the lad took all the silver and gold that he found inside the mountain and went home. And you may fancy that it went a great way to pay off the debt. The end. <laughs> Don't you just love Norwegian fairy tales? Trolls gutting themselves? Doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Hope to see you next week for another type of story. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss it out. And then I'll link to some more videos after this if you're hungry for some more. Till then.